have an experience in your life where you were never the same? So like, was there a particular- oh, a life changing experience. Yeah, something that resonated with you. Can you change it for the better, for the worst, or just something? I have to say visiting Puerto, Puerto Rico. Mm. Um, visiting the, the, the island where all my people are from, it really um, awoke in a sense of um, pride in me. And uh, it was always prevalent, uh, but just being in the island, it really um, enticed me and inspired me to learn more, to uh, to be more, like not just for myself, but for my people. Um, yeah. So when I was six, I had a house fire and I saved my whole family from the fire. And it was weird because like ever since then, I've like never had a nightmare. And I used to get them before that. So I guess that changed me and like, that kind of like showed me that I want to help. A picture for my mom and then, I went to go look for her to give it to her and like I went to the front porch and like the whole porch was on fire so like my dad was sleeping so I went and like woke him up and like got my family out from downstairs. When my, when my last grandma died, so my mom's mom died first in September 2008 and then my dad's mom died in December 2010. So once my grand, once that last grandma dropped, that was it, like, it was the worst because I didn't know how to handle it emotionally. Like, the two strongest women in my life were gone. And it was just, like, damn, what am I supposed to do? I was a runner, I did cross country, but I got two aggregate chest fractures in my hip. Oh. And I haven't really been able to run since. And I realized that, like, my entire life kind of revolved around that. And I didn't really know who I was outside of that until then. So I kind of had to find other things to do. Um, at a very young age, um, I was molested by my one of my family members. So, yeah, I don't know. I would, it would treat me, I don't know. It was weird. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I felt like really out of place for a huge gap for like five years. But then after discovering like what I like, who I am as a person, like I used to blame myself. Mm -hmm. And then I learned that it was not my fault. So. I learned to love myself, basically. Yeah. Um, I felt like I've gone through life-changing experiences, but at the same time, I feel like during short periods of time, I've experienced like mm -hmm. me not being myself. But I have to, I don't know, I have to look back into my life in order to like really know who I was and mm -hmm. who I am. You were person. never the same. So like, did you have a moment that like really resonated with you that changed you for the better, for the worse, and you were just like, you know what, I'm not doing that anymore, or I am. No. Spring semester, my freshman year, I started developing like anxiety, and I didn't know like where it came from really. Oh, so yeah. like, look at you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't know where it came from. So like, I'm not the type of person to seek help. So I kind of dealt with it on my own to the point where I couldn't. And then I finally went to go see a counselor. And then the counselor, the counselor helped. I don't know what they did, but it worked. And like I've always been like I don't need to speak to anybody, I don't need help. But ever since then, I've been more open to like talking to people about things because of my experience. Losing um, in high school, I played basketball, and we made it to the um, we made it to like our sectional championship, and we got to play in the dome, and we lost. And after we lost, like, I realized that, like, you just gotta, like, try your hardest, like, all the time in practice, because if you don't, then you're not gonna get to where you wanna be, so. Because in high school, like, I always had my friends and always had stuff to do, and I came here, and I was just, like, it was so hard to make friends, and I don't know, the first two weeks, I literally came, like, every night, and I called my mom every night, and, mm -hmm. um, she wanted to come get me, but my dad's like, no, she has to stay there. I mean, things are getting better now, and I'm on, like, a volleyball team, so I'm hoping that'll help, but, yeah, it's definitely been hard to transition, right? I mean, it hasn't fully changed me yet, but it's definitely because, like, I've always struggled with, like, social anxiety and depression and all that, and, like, um, this is definitely helping with my social anxiety because, like, but volleyball, I didn't know anyone here, and I went to dress by myself, and sometimes I go eat by myself, and like, they're just things I've never done before, so I think they're just helping me grow into someone that's more comfortable with myself.